In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for NH4Br. NH4Br is an ionic compound. That means it's made up of ions. It's made up of the NH4+, plus. that's the ammonium ion, that's a polyatomic ion. And you can look that up on a common table of polyatomic ions. And then bromine, which is in group 17 or 7A, when it's in a chemical bond, it has a minus charge. So when we draw the Lewis structures, let's first put out the NH4 plus Lewis structure. So that's right here. And we say it's NH4 plus, so we need to put a plus sign outside to show that it's an ion. And we also need to put brackets around it. So that's the Lewis structure for NH4 plus, the ammonium ion. And there's a link in the description to help you understand how I drew this Lewis structure. Then we have our bromine. Bromine normally has seven valence electrons, but because it's negative, it actually got an electron from NH4, which made this positive. When it got that electron, it has an extra one, making it negative, so it now has eight valence electrons. So let's draw our bromine out there. And then we'll put eight valence electrons around it. And because it has gained that electron, now that it has eight, it has a negative charge, we need to put that up here, and then we need to put brackets. And that's the Lewis structure for NH4Br. You can see we have this plus here because this ammonium, this lost an electron, so it only has these eight electrons given the octet to the nitrogen. And then the bromine gained one, it originally had seven, now it has eight, so it has an octet. And the plus and minus, they're attracted because they're opposites, and that forms the ionic bond here. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for NH4Br ammonium bromide, and thanks for watching.